guys, I am back with another video. And today we are going to be baking snowball cookies, also known as Mexican wedding cookies, or I think like Italian wedding cookies and some other um, recipes, or um, some other names floating around for this particular cookie. I don't really know what the original name is. I need to look that up. But anyway, regardless of what the name is, they are my son's favorite cookie. Eli, because they're my son's favorite cookie, he's gonna help me bake them today. He's been asking me um, for about a couple of months if, I, if he could buy some snowball cookies from me. <laughs> and so I said, you know what? I'll just show you how to make them so you can make them on your own. So this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make the cookies together. The first step we wanna do is wash our hands, right? <laughs> All right, the second step is going to be, we washed our hands, second step is going to be sifting the powdered sugar because we're using organic powdered sugar and um, I find the organic powdered sugar I think is more lumpy than regular powdered sugar. I haven't used regular powdered sugar for a long time, but I do remember it being a lot more fine, a lot more um, easier to work with, or I should say a lot less lumpier than the organic. So we're gonna go ahead and um, sift this. Actually, we have a little bit left here. So the powdered sugar actually goes both in the ingredients and then we coat the cookies with the powdered sugar after they come out of the oven. You can hold it. A little bit more. <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey guys, in, the, in this video, you have to make sure you subscribe, okay? <laughs> uh, he asked if he could say that. He asked if he could talk in the video, and I said sure, and this is what he wanted to say. At least one of the one things, he, I'm sure he has more to say throughout the video. But, so we got the flour sifted, the, um, the um, powdered sugar sifted, and we made a little bit of a mess. And we do not like to work with messes, so we're gonna clean this up real quick. Um, uh, can we fast forward this part? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay. Next step is to combine all of the dry ingredients. We're gonna start with almond flour, white whole wheat flour, and all-purpose flour are all gonna go into the dry ingredients along with salt. So let's start with almond flour. And that is 85 grams. We're gonna weigh it. All right, so we're gonna use a spoon actually to, to weigh this or to pour it in. So now we just gotta take some out. <laughs> Still. What's going on? Mm. 
There we go. Yes. 85. All right, so guys, we got the all the flowers together. I had to, I had a little bit of a, an issue. I read the ingredients wrong. I'm a little flustered right now. <laughs> but we put in 85 grams of almond flour, but it should have been 85 grams of all-purpose flour. So I had to take some of the almond flour out, along with a little bit of the wheat flour, but that's okay. It's doing that because your hands are on the bowl, so it's trying to calculate your hand on the bowl. Take your hand off, and it'll, it'll, it'll go back. We actually don't need this anymore, so you hit power twice, push it twice again. So we have all of our dry ingredients together, and now we will mix these. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and mix them. Try not to get anything outside the bowl. The original recipe calls for just almond flour and all-purpose flour, but of course, I like to add whole wheat flour to everything that I can add it to um, without completely compromising the recipe <laughs> or the taste. Um, so I have, I cut the, actually I think I, I did like a 70, 30% as far as flour goes, 70% all-purpose, 30% um, whole wheat flour or something like that. It might be 60 and uh, 40, but I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to look into that. Um, so keep on mixing. Actually, that looks good. Okay, we had to take a break because Eli wanted to put on <laughs> his apron. My apron. Yep. Go ahead and you can talk. I wanted to put on my apron. He wanted to put his apron on because he didn't want to get his clothes dirty. So we are going to resume <laughs> now that we have our aprons on. All right, so we are done with mixing the um, almond flour, white whole wheat flour, all-purpose flour, and salt. Next step is to add the butter to the bowl um, in a separate bowl. We set aside the dry ingredients. Now we're in a separate bowl. We're gonna add the butter, the almond extract, um, vanilla extract, and powdered sugar. Let's start off with the butter. It's one stick of butter. So we just unwrap it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do I put the whole thing in? Yep, but first, this is how you unwrap butter. Put it on the table. Put it on the table. No, just put it down on the table. Okay, and then you gotta unfold. Try your best not to touch it. Yeah. And just unfold.
All right. We need 30 grams of powdered sugar. We need to put that whole thing in. 30 grams of powdered sugar. Let me get another spoon. Are you going to be able to put in 30 grams? I guess so. Very slow. Probably you should put it over there. Carefully. Let's put the bowl right there. All right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Put it close. Okay. How much is that? 24. So do you think you need a lot more or a little bit more? Uh, a little bit. If that was 24, yep, you're right. You just need a little bit more. 28. Ah, ah, that's too much, too much, too much. I'm uh, just going to put a little bit and see if it gets to 40 something. Okay. 33. That's fine. Okay. All right. So we got enough of the powdered sugar. No. And we're going to mix that together first. Mm. And you can take it off the, um, yep. the scale thing. The scale. Are you going to record me doing it? Yeah, go ahead. Um, put it right here. What happened? That's fine. Okay. All right. We'll speed through this part. Do you want to pour this in or do you want me to pour it in? Uh, all of it. Um, yeah, all of it. I want to pour it Just in. Just make sure it all gets inside the bowl. Okay. So we're adding the dry ingredients to the Ooh. wet ingredients. Hold on, I need Probably to pour it in different should, way. Yeah, different angle. There you go. Let's see. All right, there you go. All right, we're gonna mix this together. Yep. Very slow. Yeah, slow. You gonna want me to start? Uh, yes. All right, guys, so we added the flour, the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, and we have a dough now, very thick dough, um, much thicker compared to like a chocolate chip cookie. I guess it's more like a, almost like a sugar cookie consistency. Um, and the reason why is because it doesn't have any eggs, so it's a very thick dough. But anyway, with that being said, um, normally I add pecans to this recipe sometimes I do sometimes I don't but lately I've been adding pecans but this guy does not like pecans so I was thinking that maybe we could add chocolate chips what do you think yeah. he's already off to get the chocolate chips <laughs> I've never added chocolate chips to um, to this recipe so we'll see how they turn out we'll probably do like half chocolate chips and half without and we'll see how that goes chocolate chips so we'll make um a couple we're going to use the i think i think this is like the standard cookie 
um, ice cream scoop, cookie scoop, whatever you want to call it. I don't see a number on here. I'm trying, trying to see what number it is, but it's just like a standard um, size cookie scoop. Cookie scoop. I think it's like a tablespoon and a half, something like that. And normally I make them really small, those tiny ones, but um, just because it's for us and I, I like the bigger ones, I think I'm actually going to start. No, not yet. I think I'm going to start making bigger ones anyway. But let's just get the scooping. I'm talking too much. So I'm going to do the first one to show you how to do it, right? I talk too much, <laughs> Well, I guess that's where you got it from. When I'm on camera, I talk a lot for some reason. Okay. But you see how I scooped it and then... Made it flat? Press it, yep. Press it against there. And then we're going to squeeze this out. No, we're not going to do chocolate chips yet. We're going to do half with chocolate chips and half without. This is the first half is going to be without chocolate chips. Okay, so we're going to do some more multiplication. we got three rows. Or, I'm sorry. Three columns. How many rows of three do we need to get to 12? Whoa! Whoa. I love that. We're teaching them. Huh? I love that. Three plus three plus three plus three equals twelve. Good. So, so we need three, four. So we need three rows of three. No. And four rows of three. Good, Eli. So we just started talking yeah, to him about. Just... No, that's fine. We just started talking about um. How he can, how he is old enough to learn multiplication. So we just started yesterday talking to him about multiplication and like what it means and um, what it means to multiply things. And we just started show, started showing him um, how to do it. And he is catching on already. <laughs> he actually, um, my husband actually has been teaching, taught him multiplication, the introduction to multiplica multiplication during the summertime. Um, so he's kind of relearning it, I guess. All right, so we have all of our cookies in balls now. And um, we have one extra. <laughs> so we got 13. Baker's dozen. Something doesn't seem right. Wait, that's what's it. Guys, did you subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys subscribe because we're working pretty hard to get you guys to, to like this video. So like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> have you subscribed yet? Well, we got our balls. We have the oven preheated to 325 degrees. We're going to put these in the oven for about, uh, I think about 20 minutes or so. Um, and they're, they're going to get very golden, very lightly browned on the top and at the bottom. And you'll see that. And then um, after that, we will take them out and coat them with powdered sugar. But while we're waiting for these cookies to bake, my youngest son just woke up, of course. It's always like right at the end of my baking. So we're gonna go get him while these bake. And he might actually make an appearance in this video. So we'll see. He will, he must make an appearance. He's always in the video, some kind of way, right? Always. always. <laughs> so let's put these in the oven. You ready? Yep. The rack is in the right position. We got 325. Don't expect him to not be in the video, guys. <laughs> Make sure you don't let them roll off. All right, put it in. Right here? Yep, just push it on back. Good. I'm not going to get burnt. I know you did. <laughs> you did good. 
All right, we're going to let those bake, and then we will be back. Bye, guys. We'll see you when they bake. So they are out of the oven and they've cooled down a little bit. We're moving them to a wired rack um, so they can cool down a little bit more. And actually, I think this is the perfect time to coat them with powdered sugar. The first coating and then we're going to let them cool down all the way to room temperature and then do another coating of powdered sugar. So I'm going to get the powdered sugar. All right, we are getting our gloves on. Oh no. Take yours off. He's back. I just need one glove. I'm gonna show you what to do. Mama, it's him. He's back. Mama. I'm just gonna dip it in there. No, I don't have anything to do. Let him be, let him do what he wants to do right now. Um, Can I do chocolate I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Yep, I can do the regular ones and you can do chocolate chip ones. Oh, that's this is gonna be messy. Actually, you know what? I forgot I do like three at a time. Oh. All right, guys, the cookies are all coated and they've cooled mm -hmm. down. Um, I was trying to figure out which ones had chocolate chips, and I cannot figure out. Oh, here's one. Oh, really? I know we had chocolate chips. Here is one. I see dark, ch dark spots on this one. All right, so we're going to cut that one open and. I think the big one that we did. Wait, we're doing we'll two. We'll go with this one. Yeah, we'll do two. Cause uh, I'm sure Jeremiah's gonna want a piece too. Jeremiah, do you want some snowball cooking? Yeah. Hey, right, dig in, Levi. This is your piece. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm. I'll take this one. The biggest one. That's not fair. <laughs> I'm the baker. Me too. Yeah, good help. That is it for this video. Thanks guys for watching, um, <gasps> following us as we make these snowball cookies. I have other videos planned um, that I plan on making. What a day. What a baking day. It was hard, but we got through it. <laughs> Maybe like three hours later. And you just ate my cookies. All right. Anyway, I have other videos that I plan on making and releasing and uh, recording. But until then, um, check out my other ones where I show you behind the scenes of my micro bakery.